So you want to play Hebo, but the only problem is you don't know how. Well, fret not, because I'm going to teach you how to build, how to play, and how to level Hebo all in this video. Shout out to my boy Shamar for asking for this video, and let's go ahead and get into it. Let's talk about Hebo's passive steady flow. Each time he uses an ability, he gains a stack of steady flow. These stacks increase your magical power, stacking up to 3 by 4%. So you could get a 12% buff for just spamming your abilities as Hebo. But let's go ahead and move on to the rest of his kit. Let's talk about Hebo's one. It's a cone attack, has a 3 second cooldown timer, and you'll just spam this in between each one of your abilities. It does a lot of damage, pretty simple, but let's move on to Hebo's 2. Hebo's 2 is a scroll that he rolls out at max level. It increases you and your allies' movement speed by 40%, and it also slows the enemy's movement speed by 40%. It's the only means of escape Hebo has other than his ult, so make sure to use it to chase enemies down or to run away, but let's move on to Hebo's 3. Hebo's 3 knocks up enemies, and it's really annoying to play against. It used to have a movement penalty, but they removed that because Hebo definitely needed the buff. But anyway, quick little combo you could use with this character is your 1, 3, and then 1. And they're basically dead before they hit the ground if they're anything other than a guardian. But let's move on to Hebo's ultimate. Hebo's ultimate is where he turns into a wave and just deals ridiculous amounts of damage. Endgame, you will literally be one-shotting people for a thousand damage with that ability. You can also use it as an escape if you really need to. It's fairly simple. He turns into a wave and does big numbies. But let's move on to leveling. When leveling Hebo, the first ability you want to get is his 1, next his 3, next his 2, and then of course level your ult when you can. The first ability you will max is your 1, 3, and then 2. But let's go ahead and move on to building. Starting with starter items, I like going Sands of Time straight into the Pendulum of the Ages. Conduit Gem, Vampiric Shroud are both valid. And if you want to really go crazy, you could go Bumba's Hammer on this character if you're playing jungle or something. I've seen some wild builds with Bumba's Hammer on Hebo. Now, I like getting Bancroft's Talon, 100 magical power, 15% magical lifesteal, 150 mana, all very good. And the passive is you get lower HP, you get more magical power, and lifesteal, which is really nice, especially on Hebo because you're a glass cannon. Next thing I like getting is Staff of Midrid, giving you 150 magical power, 10% magical pen, 10% cooldown reduction, and your ultimate, after you use it, you get a 25% increased damage dealt over 8 seconds, which is insane, and that could happen every 45 seconds. And that should be around your ultimate timer once you get 40% cooldown reduction, which is really nice. Next item I like getting is Spear of Desolation, and this item's kind of crazy. You get a 110 magical power, 15 magical pen, and 10% cooldown reduction. And if that was enough, your passive, every time you get a kill or an assist on an enemy god... All of your non-ultimate cooldowns are reduced by 2 seconds, which is pretty good, that's good. And your ultimate cooldown timer is reduced by 6 seconds, which is kind of nuts, especially on Hebo. Now, Typhon's Fang is the next thing I like to go, because you get 70 magical power, 200 mana, 15% magical lifesteal, and 10% magical pen. And your passive is, your healing obtained from magical lifesteal is increased by 25%, which is great because our... Bancroft's Talon, which we upgrade into Bancroft's Claw, gives us a shield over our HP based off our healing off of our lifesteal, which is really good. Now, I see a lot of people, when they play Smite, instantly upgrade into Bancroft's Claw. In my opinion, it's better to get the next item, and when you have like a spare 600 gold, go ahead and upgrade it. Next item I really like to get is Rata Tahuti, giving you 135 magical power, 30 MP5, and 10% magical pen. And the passive is basic attacks and abilities gain 25% additional magical power against targets below 50 HP, which is super nice because Hebo will just be slapping already. With this, you'll just annihilate the enemy team. Other super good items on Hebo are Soul Reaver and Obsidian Shard, really good tank busters. Divine Ruins, Anti-Heal, and Doom Orbs, also like one of my favorite magic items because it makes you faster and gives you magical power for just building stacks with it, which is really fun to do. Now, relics I like to get are purification beads. You could get chaotic beads. Temporal beads are really good. Now, Aegis is the next item I like to get because I am literally a glass cannon when I play Hebo. And it doesn't really matter which one you get. They're both pretty good. But I like getting Aegis of Acceleration because when I use Aegis, usually I want to run away from people. So, Aegis is really good. But if you found this useful whatsoever, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.